Hi, welcome back to HowToAV.TV. We're here at ISE 2017, and today we're joined by Chuck Espinosa, who really is one of the AV industry experts and the head trainers for Infocom. Chuck, welcome to HowToAV, and welcome to ISE. Thank you, thank you very much. Chuck, I know you're covering so many subjects on the Infocom seminar program this week, one of which is cybersecurity. Now, let's talk about why that is so important in the home as we add more and more devices to our home network. Well, the cybersecurity is getting to be a big uh, topic. It hit the corporate industries first and people started realizing they needed to lock down their homes because we have so many devices in our homes now, thermostats, light bulbs, speakers. And for the average homeowner, they don't have a cybersecurity or an IT team that will come and do that for them. So most of the people get it from the company, their service provider, and they bring it in, they set it in their home and they turn it on and go without thinking about security that's involved in that. And you have your computer, your home computers, your tablets, your phones, and I know a lot of people do banking on their tablets and phones and whatnot, and without that lock on the door, it kind of gives those uh, those undesirable computer thieves the, the, the means to come in and, and peruse all of your information, your banking information, your, uh, your wills and, and medical information if you have that on there. So it's starting to be a very big topic with the home, trying to get the homeowner educated and a few tips for the homeowners to be able to secure their network. Uh, I heard a story recently about a, one of the guys in the talk said he walked outside and opened his door and there's a little one of the neighbor girls sitting on his porch and he said, hey, what's what's going on? She said, oh, I'm just using your Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. We might want to secure that. So it's, uh, it's getting to be huge, uh, being able to protect your home network just like you protect your home valuables. So we need to protect our homes and we need to protect our own personal data as well. Sure, give us some great tips that's going to ensure that we do have a, a safe home network. Well, tip number one, change your password. Usually the passwords will come from the service provider or a brand new router, modem, switch, whatever you buy, it has a, a standard password and everyone knows what they are and most people don't change them. So that's the number one. If a, if a thief has the keys to your house, he's going to come in and take your stuff. Second thing is Mac filtering. Uh, a lot of people don't know what Mac filtering is. Your device has a specific hardware address and you can program that hardware address into your, um, your switch and it will only allow those hardware addresses to connect to your network. So Mac filtering is a big thing. And there are ways around it. People say, oh, you can clone Mac, spoof and whatever. It is, every lock can be broken. It's just a little bit harder for those guys to do it. And just like a home with a lock on the door, if someone comes to your door and it's locked, they go to the next house to check to see if it's an easier target. So Mac filtering is a great way to lock your network down. Um, I do, I personally go to my neighbors and offer this service of, uh, let's reset your passwords or show them how to set their own passwords. Let's change the channel so we're not all on the same channel. Let me show you how to Mac filter and reaching out to your neighbors and, and the people around. So your neighborhood's more secure. And it's kind of like a little neighborhood network watch. That, that I do and help my neighbors out with. And a lot of them being in IT or being in technology are very accepting. We all work together and, and we have a safe neighborhood with our network. We're thinking about the family as well. Even, even the mums and the dads and the grandmas have got Wi-Fi oh, yeah. in the home as well. But just thinking about that home network, there are there are so many open networks. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, passing that on as well is a great tip. Yeah. And those networks that have family members on them, just think about your grandma trying to connect to the network and if you have a huge security system it's very hard for them to I got a new device and I don't know this 26 digit code and I'm just confused I just want to check the weather well those networks that are more open are easier to get into for the family they're also easier to get into for the not family so we want to assist those people and we want to make it user friendly and easier for them so there's certain things you can do, again, as a home administrator of the network, to try to make that as user-friendly for grandma as possible, but still keep it locked down. Mac filtering is a great way, you know, hey grandma, can I see your device real quick? Boom, done. 
you can go on about your business, check your soap operas, and uh, that and and hiding your SSID is another one. Uh, a lot of people don't hide their SSIDs, and if everyone in the family knows what it is, or it's your last name or whatnot, if you broadcast that, people know where that house is, and they don't. You don't really think about that if you put your home name or your surname and your SSID, but then they can associate that with your address. And that's just another piece of information that cyber criminals can get to use in their search for data on you. So change that SSID to something random and hide it. And you know maybe put it on a post-it on the refrigerator so everyone knows what it is and you can still connect, but, but hide that thing. And I guess simple tips is a non-tech tip, but keep an eye on bank statements as oh, well. Oh yeah. You know, cyber cyber security, keep it safe. But if somebody is going to steal from you, they're not going to take tens of thousands of pounds from your account. It's small amounts, and and just keeping an eye on that is a good measure as well. Oh yeah, I, I've heard several stories of people when they uh, get hit by phishing scams or or whatnot, or, or people get their credit cards. The first charge you see is not five or six thousand dollars. It's a dollar two dollars and they wait to see if you actually report that and most people see a dollar charge and they think it's an ATM fee or something small but that's those are those little nibbles that those crooks take at you so if you see those one or two dollar charges definitely check those out if you don't know what they are because um, pretty soon after two or three one or two dollar charges then you'll see that five thousand dollar charge and you're like oh I should have checked that uh, yeah definitely check those small charges there's going to be more and more devices in the home and in the office that are going to be added to that network. Do keep it safe, do keep it secure. If you've got any questions about cybersecurity, if you need some help, leave us some comments in the uh, section below. If you've got any great ideas, any great tips, drop a comment and we would love to hear from you. Chuck, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. We've got loads more information coming from ISE 2017 on howtoav.tv. Don't forget to subscribe and keep viewing.